Welcome to BB's Bookshelf. Today we're reading Oh Say Can You Say Dinosaur by Bonnie Worth. I'm the cat in the hat. You have met me before. Today I will speak of the great dinosaur. Dinosaurs lived on the earth long ago before you and me. So how do we know? From fossils. Dinosaur teeth, eggs, and bone got stuck in the muck, then that muck turned to stone. These fossils are old. They are dusty and worn because they were made long before you were born. Not hundreds of years, not thousands of years, but millions of years long before you were born. Dinosaur hunters dig in the ground. All over the earth, these fossils are found. The hunters use tools to chip, chip all day. The fossils come loose, then they pack them away. Fossils can crumble because they are old, so dinosaur hunters must first make a mold. To the dinosaur labs, every bone, tooth, and bit is carefully shipped to see how they fit. Is this a leg bone? Maybe a muzzle. It's a crazy mixed up dinosaur puzzle. Step up and enter the museum hall where dinosaurs stand. Some are big, some are small. Here we will play the best of all games. Oh, say can you say the dinosaur's name? Take care of your father, sweet Sally, dear Dick. These long words can make even grown-ups feel sick. And after you've said them, you then get to see them in the Cat in the Hat's Super Dino Museum. Dinosaur names are not easy to read, but give it a try. I will help if you need. Oh, say, can you say Ankylosaurus? With a club for a tail and a back full of spikes, this dino was strong like an army tank. Yikes! Now, can you say, my Asara? There's one thing we know that this dino did best. She kept her kids cozy and safe in their nest. She kept the nest tidy. She got her kids food. She was a good mother to her dino brood. Now, say, Tyrannosaurus Rex. You said that quite nicely. Now you'd better go. T-Rex is no kitten, I think you should know. This T-Rex was strong, with long teeth, sharp as knives. When most dinos saw him, they ran for their lives. T-Rex was a hunter. He hunted for meat. Other dinosaurs were his idea of a treat. Carnivore is the name that we give to dinos like this, who ate meat to live. Oh, say, can you say Triceratops? This dinosaur's head had three horns upon it sticking up out of a hard sort of bonnet. But though he was smaller and not half as fierce, his head was too hard for T-Rex teeth to pierce. So after a few dozen snaps at his face, T-Rex looked for dinner in some other place. Oh, say, can you say, Apatosaurus? I've gotten this rather tall ladder here for us to see eye to eye with Apatosaurus. These dinos' long necks reached up high into trees where they fed on green leaves just as much as they'd please. Herbivore is the name that we give to dinos like these who ate plants to live. Can you say Brachiosaurus? This dino was taller than 51 feet. And just how much food do you think he could eat? Nearly as much as a truckload of hay is what he would gobble day after day. That's how he grew to this size. Can you see the cat in the hat just comes up to his knees? He's nowhere as smart as a you or a me. His brain is the size of a small zucchini. Can you say Iguanodon? What he did with his thumb, we think that we know. We think that he used it to jab at his phone. Now say Dinoithecus, terrible claw, 
is what its name means. We think that this dinosaur hunted in teams. Can you say Archaeopteryx? This fine feathered friend is the earliest known. This bird might have glided, this bird might have flown. One thing we must ask, and we must be quite firm, if this bird was so early. Did he catch the worm? It's getting late now. I see night is falling. The museum is closing. Your mother is calling. Before you head home, dear Sally and Dick, I have a surprise that is really quite slick. This dino's the earliest cat that is known. No one has seen it. It's never been shown. It's super terrific. It stands here before us. Oh, say, can you say? Cat in the Hadasaurus? The end.